The American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers' 17th Historic Landmark designation is the Holt Combine Harvester. On a carriage ride near Stockton on a summer day in 1884, Benjamin Holt and his companion passed farmers cutting wheat with a header machine and stacking the grain for threshing later in the season. A man of few words, Holt remarked, that method requires too much work. Harvesting and threshing should be done in one operation. Holt was not the first in California building combine harvester machines. Keenly aware of the tremendous potential of such a venture, Benjamin and brother Charles Holt quickly joined the cavalcade of combine manufacturers. Having been in Stockton only two years with their Stockton Wheel Company, the Holts bought several patents, expanded their factory facilities, and conducted experimental work. They put their first combined harvester on the market in 1886. Boasting a 14-foot header and 21-inch cylinder and pulled by 18 horses, it harvested 25 acres a day. Having observed the negative features of the early combines, Benjamin Holt designed his first machines without the conventional tight gears. This eliminated excessive friction as well as the growling noise. Holt substituted chain drives to power the cylinder, cutting bar, reel, drapers, and other moving parts. These chains, called link belts, were made by coupling individual links. If one link broke, it could be replaced quickly. A second engineering innovation in Ben Holt's combine consisted of a V-belt that drove the threshing cylinder. Because combined harvesters drastically reduced the size of the labor forces required for harvesting and threshing, they had an unexpected emancipating effect for farm women who were expected to cook 6 a.m. breakfast and 9 p.m. supper for not only their families but the shocking and threshing crews of 15 to 20 men. To deal with the problem of hillside farms, Holt designed and patented a side hill traveling harvester in 1891. These hillside combines soon reached the hilly regions of eastern Washington and Oregon. Imaginative engineering helped make Holt combine harvesters among the best in the world. Of the 47 patents granted to Holt between 1889 and 1921, 18 applied to improvements in design of the combine. These Holt combine harvesters of 1924 were shipped to all grain growing states in the United States and many foreign countries. The Holt machine represents what historian and Smithsonian curator of agriculture John T. Schlebecker termed the final development of the heroic age of animal power. Two ASABE historic landmarks were dedicated on January 13, 1983 in Stockton, California's Hagen Museum's Holt exhibit. The first was awarded for the Side Hill Combine developed and patented by the Holt Brothers of Stockton, California in 1891.